So what's going on fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. Today we're in Black Ops 4 Zombies on the map Blood of the Dead. And this here is the High Balcony Glitch. This one here, you cannot get power-ups, but you can hop down, get max ammos, hop right back up into this. It's very easy. Let me know right now down in the comment section, what's your current level in Black Ops 4 Zombies? I'm Prestige Master, level 105. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. What you're going to need to get started is go into your creative class and equip the Ragnarok DG5s. This special weapon is going to allow us to super jump to hyper jump into the position by holding L1 and R1, adding the jump, and then R2, which is the shock slam. Now to get through these rounds real fast, we're going to pick up the Wraith Fire Grenade, which is sort of a wager between this or the Tomahawk. What do you want to pick? I choose Wraith Fire Grenade so I can charge up my special faster. You might want power-ups, so you might want to go for the Tomahawk. We're right here in Michigan Avenue is where we're going to be, and we're going to be hyper-jumping, holding that L1 and R1 at the same time, then jumping, then hitting R2. That'll shock slam you right into the balcony corner, and you're good to go. So this is really easy to do. Anyone can do it, and right now this is one of the better pile-up glitches on Blood of the Dead. I highly recommend it, and if you need power-ups, if you need max ammos, you can always just hop down, grab it, once you got a full super. Always when you got a full super, your special weapon meter's got to be full. There's no requirement from level 1 all the way to level 3. You'll fill it up as you go, but anytime you get a super, make sure you have it before you leave. What happens when Brutus spawns? This is the effect of Brutus. So when we're in this glitch, he comes all the way around and wraps up, comes right to you, and he is a threat. So he's the one guy you got to pay attention to and be able to be taken down. Now, if you want to make this process a lot simpler for yourself, you're going to have a shield on your back, and you're also going to toss a wraith fire grenade down at your feet. That's going to continually burn him, and you'll be able to take down Brutus really fast. So that's really the only threat that you got. Otherwise, this spot's golden. I want to add a note here that there is a very possible rumor and leak going on right now on Reddit about Nuketown Zombies. We have a new description. I'm going to be showing that a little bit later in this video. But what I wanted to bring up too is that all these glitches that you see here on the channel, as of the date that this video is uploaded, be sure to check that out. That's when this glitch is working. Now, as for the days that pass after that, Treyarch gets to see these videos. And by me showing you how to do it properly, you get to take advantage of all the time between now and then and get as much XP as possible. So I recommend you guys find these glitches and be searching for them as much as you want you're not going to get banned for it uh, zombies is not pvp you're not wrecking anybody's experience but this is one right here in case you need to go somewhere you need a pee break you just want to grind you don't want the threat of zombies just coming after you you want a smooth night you're just going for headshots maybe this is a glitch that you're interested in so there you have it. There is the high balcony glitch. I thank every one of you guys that have subscribed and joined Team Grizz. As of lately, we've hit 50,000 on a road to 60,000. And coming shortly is factions in zombies. And this is definitely something that all of us are going to want to pay attention to because this is our endgame extension, our DLC add on for endgame. And sort of what I'm thinking is, and a lot of people are thinking because I did a poll on this that it might be weekly challenges, weekly callings, something to keep us engaged on a weekly basis. And this is expected to drop sometime between January 3rd and the middle of February. The content schedule that I've built here, I'm going to keep updating on the channel. I think you guys will appreciate that in the long run. On Reddit, there is a Nuketown Zombies leak. Uh, this guy's asking if it's confirmed. He saw this in his custom mutations. It says, continue the fight against the undead and search for clues to the truth of what lies ahead. Now it does rhyme, but maybe that's by design. I don't know, but there's new things out there, things that are happening, fellas, as we move towards 2019. Factions is definitely coming, but is Nuketown Zombies going to be a thing sometime between January 3rd and the middle of February? Because that's when the new operation starts. Operation Absolute Zero only lasts for so long. But if the current leaks and rumors are true, Nuketown Zombies can make its way sometime after January 3rd. I hope it's not early February by the time Nuketown gets here. There are rumors saying early February 2019, but uh, I hope it's sooner than that. I think for Zombies, we need some more hype. Another month, a whole month through January with nothing in Zombies. 
We need factions. We need something to come along and blow our minds because zombies is getting stale already. And I hate to admit that. I hate to admit that. But we're going to keep it fresh here on the channel with the latest glitches as we rank up to level 1,000. Best belief, I got you covered the entire way throughout this Black Ops Pass. We got to keep it interesting somehow. Be sure to subscribe. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. And activate push notifications so you can become part of Team Grizz. And... Stay updated with everything that goes on in the zombies community. I'll see you in the next video. Violent out.